Hey guys, welcome back to Kessie Corner. Today we're talking business. Um, so I have a couple products that I've made myself to sell um, on Etsy, some I've sold at pop-up shops. And these are really easy products you can make yourself or you can get it from a vendor, whichever you choose. So I'm just gonna show you the products and give you a quick um, overview of the materials that I used. And maybe you can add it to your business. So. Please excuse my naked mannequin in the back. <laughs> so the first product I'm talking about is the famous lip gloss, the lip gloss um, business that a lot of girlies like to start. So these are some lip glosses I made myself um, to sell during back to school. Then you have like, you know, the regular tubing. I got all of these uh, packaging on Amazon and I made the labels myself with my Cricut machine. So these are some of the lip oils that I made. Um, these are the, the rollers I purchased on Amazon and I made my label with my um, Cricut machine. So if you were to get this from a vendor, they would charge you for custom packaging. Most of the time you just have to meet the minimum amount of products for them to put your brand on your package. Before I started making my own lip gloss, I did use a vendor from China. The company was called Miss Makeup Poem. So they have really low minimum, I think it's 50 products. So what I did, I ordered one or two, I think I ordered two lip glosses just to see the quality, just to see if I had any allergic reactions because my lips are very sensitive to lip products. And I wanted to make sure I wasn't selling something that was gonna have people breaking out and then they wanna sue me and you know, all the things. But um, yeah, so I bought a few products. I bought some lip glosses, some eyeshadows and some eyeliners to test the products out myself before I made a purchase from them. And I've always sold out their products when I sold it at pop-up shops. It's really good, so you can check them out. I'll leave their link in the description. I'm used to this lip gloss making thing, which I was when I started. YouTube, just like you're watching right now, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube about how to make lip gloss, what to mix, you know, um, materials you can get at the supermarket, natural oils, um, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, people put all kinds of things in their lip glosses. But you can do the research and see what works for you, what kind of product you want to sell, um, something you would want to use yourself, okay? Um, so just, I would just suggest do your research before you start making the lip gloss. Another tip is to let people sample your products. If you're not confident in the lip glosses you made, I suggest you order these little sample tubes, really little. You just put a little bit of your product in here, give it to your friends, to your family, your coworkers, whatever. Have them try it. Let them tell you what they don't like about it, what they like about it. And you go from there. That way, you know, you're more confident before you put yourself out there and before you put your, your product out there in your business. Now this product might be, well it is, <laughs> highly saturated, but I started doing it, my sister was doing it first, and I was just loving the stuff she was making. And I'm the type of person, I want to know how to do everything. Every product I've ever purchased, I wanna learn how to make it myself. And that way, I don't have to worry about going and buying it from anybody anymore because I can do it myself. Um, so, today we're talking about custom cups. Cups, mugs, tumblers, whatever you choose. Um, these are Libby glass cups, or they call them bear, bear can cups. They are all kind of names, but this I made with vinyl. So, doing these cups with vinyl, that you have to weed yourself is very time consuming so if you see somebody selling these type of cups and you might think they're too pricey trust me it's not pricey at all because of the labor that goes into making these cups okay so that's one this was one from Christmas with the Grinch then they have some that you can use the sublimation ink so I have a mug press I have a tumbler press and I bought the sublimation ink from Michaels. They come in like like a paper that you press onto the cup. You can look it up and see how to make it. Or if you guys want me to, I could show you a quick tutorial. This says, I run on sunshine and coffee. I made this during Christmas just to test it out. This was my first test mug and I loved it. Like the color really pops. This is another mug. I am a tea drinker, so I have a lot of mugs. Uh, so yes, these are just some examples of some products that you, items you can do with your mugs. 
Um, you can put whatever you want on there. If you go into Cricut Design Space, there's tons of preloaded templates and designs that you can apply to your products. Or if you are more creative, you can create your own designs. So you can have fun with that. Like I said, there's a lot of people selling these products on Etsy, but if you could find yourself if you could find a way to make your product different, I'm sure you would sell a lot. Next up is custom totes. So this was one I made um, for Valentine's. So I bought the tote bags and I actually purchased the design from Amazon. So it was already made and all I had to do was apply it with my heat press. Um, super easy, very durable. I literally wash it in the um, washing machine and as you can see, the design has not cracked. So this is a really good product, I think, to sell. Because who doesn't love tote bags, especially when you have to pay for bags? What I do suggest is make sure that you get some good quality bags because there's a lot of um, people selling these bags on Amazon, um, Alibaba, whatever, all these sites. And some of them are extremely thin, like you can see straight through them. Um, and they don't look that good. So you want to make sure this is good quality. This is really thick. And like I said, it holds up in the machine. So make sure you test the toast out before you even go buying um, a whole bunch. Now, if you're like me and you just love cute stuff, um, another option is to make keychains. So I have like tons of beads and this says Barbie Tings. Can't really see it, but yeah. Um, and I just made this keychain and all of my keys at work have some kind of pink bead thing attached to it um you can also make hair clips i just made these the other day just to test it out so i purchased the the clips itself like a whole pack of the clips and then i used some e6000 glue um this one was specific for rhinestones i think this was like the smaller tube and i just applied the charms to the clips so I haven't like sold any of these but it's an option for someone that like likes to sell accessories um you can send it to little girls and hey i'm grown but i still love my clips okay i think a product is too like childish there's tons of people out there that still love like i still love wearing these things i just think they're adorable i still love headbands i've seen girls out there with bubbles grown women with bubbles okay so don't sell yourself short these are super easy to make they're very affordable and you could sell them in like packs of 10 20 whatever you choose and go from if you want to get creative um you can try i think it's called upcycling i hope that's right where you kind of like reuse things that you already have at home so um i had a bunch of wine corks and i purchased this board from dollar tree and I literally applied the corks with my glue gun and I made a memo board. Aside from using what you have at home, I'm just showing you how it works. You know, you take the pin, memo board. You can actually purchase the corks. Um, so this is my personal uh, memo board. So if I did want to sell these, I would purchase, um, you can buy them by like the hundred bag or something. And like I said, go to Dollar Tree, get these um, hanging boards for $1.25 now, it's no longer a dollar, um, and make these memo boards. And I think these are adorable and it does, it didn't even take me that long to be honest, probably like 30 minutes, only because I had to cut some of the corks because they weren't the same size. So like I said, if you purchase the corks um, and they come the same size, it's one, two, three. Easy to make great to sell so I will say invest in yourself invest in your brand you don't have to go buying thousand dollar equipment but little things like you know I purchased this this press it was like 80 something dollars on Amazon and this is how I do the um, the heat press for the um, glasses the tumblers um, I also have the Cricut mug press which is what I use to make these it's crazy how much Cricut products I have. <laughs> um, I have this little mighty one here. There's a new one um, that you can buy for hats, but I'm pretty sure you can use this as well if you want to put like designs on the hats for the heat press. Um, invest in a printer. You can make stickers at home with your printer. 
um, you can actually print out your sublimation designs from your printer and apply it to your clothes with heat press. There's so many options. Just little things like that. Like look for materials you can buy that can help you make pro um, products across the board. Like don't just limit yourself to one thing. So I will tell you my biggest problem as an entrepreneur is second guessing myself. Um, I get so awkward around people now and this really got worse after the pandemic like I always used to be out there all over the place but now it's like I'm so uncomfortable around people I don't like talking to people I don't like talking up products to people so I find myself at pop-up shops hiding behind my products or hiding behind my boyfriend and he's always like out there talking to people and getting them to buy stuff they did not want um, that's how you have to be you have to hustle 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 you have to be the face of your product you have to sound like you know what you're talking about you have to look like you try your own products um, that's how you're gonna get people to be confident enough to spend their money on you if you're at a pop-up shop and you're like hey I sell lip gloss they're gonna be like do you you know <laughs> they're just gonna go to someone else I'm not saying you have to be like overly bubbly but you have to be confident in your product you have to be confident in your brand you have to know what you stand for what your goal is what you want what you don't want don't let people tell you about your product you tell them about your product don't let people tell you oh you should do this you should do that there's a difference between getting feedback from people and people just literally telling you what to do with your business it's your business for a reason so you have to believe in what you are selling in order to make so that's it for today guys um if you want to hear um about some more products let me know in the comment section and i would love to do another video for you if you want me to get um more in depth in any one of these products that i talked about i'll also do that for you um whatever questions you have drop it below and we'll continue the conversation um i just want you guys to know starting your own business does not have to be that hard do your research you know see what other people are doing what's working for them what's not working for them and apply it to yourself believe in yourself and don't sell yourself short love you